back to North of the Broad. With us now is Dr. Art Martin, yeah. PhD, uh, me molecular biologist? Uh, the PhD is in mechanical engineering, but I have a graduate <laughs> degree in molecular biology. Lives in Bluffton, but has traveled all over the world yes. with an, and on numerous occasions with his work, has written this book, Hot Off the Press. One week off the press. <laughs> called From Jelly Beans to a Nobel Prize nomination. Yes. So let's begin, well, let's begin with you. Tell us, are you from Massachusetts originally? Well, Where are you from? I, I'm from New England originally, yes. and I emigrated to Florida and then to North Carolina and ended up in Bluffton. Right. So, and I've been here 18 years. Okay. And I've been working from here. I am uh, basically an infectious disease scientist yes. and uh, an infection control consultant. And I used to design and build clean rooms, hospital operating suites, um, pharmaceutical laboratories, biosafety laboratories. Um, everything that was done to sanitize these things was chemical based. So over eight years, I developed a totally organic product, chemical drug and alcohol free, that works better than any chemical and it's totally organic and non-toxic. The jelly beans right. thing, came from a project for the world's largest manufacturer of jelly beans. When I was living in New England, they bought an old textile mill, which was not designed for the kind of production that they needed. No one could, they couldn't control the environment in there. And they had been to about a half a dozen engineers and contractors, and nobody wanted to touch it. When I found out about it, I jumped at it because I said, I love a challenge. How'd I you, want to do this. How did you find out about it? S somebody called me, a friend of mine who was okay. in the business, and said, Art, I heard about this job at the EA Rosen Company. So I made an inquiry, and they called yes. me, and I went over there. And, and so um, and you fixed the problem. Yeah, so I did the project, <laughs> and it was way more successful than even I could have imagined. I maintained the conditions even tighter than they wanted. And it was because I took technology yes. from another market segment. I took the technology that was used in the computer industry, the pharmaceutical lab industry, and applied it to this old building, right. which wasn't designed for that. But the innovation of the technology change is what solved the problem. So I was like doing that. And um, it, it was... Very successful. Is that where you got the Nobel Peace Prize nomination? No, so no. Who, how did that happen? Well, what happened was I uh, about six years after that project, I got a call from a utility company in Florida oh, okay. that was doing some very new technology, and they heard about me and asked me if I'd be interested in taking over their program. And again, another challenge. I said, absolutely, I love it. So we moved to Florida. While I was there, I got introduced to a little uh, Chinese engineer from Malaysia who came to be my partner, to work for me. I looked at his resume. He had two PhDs, one in mechanical Gosh. engineering and one in physics, and both from MIT. Oh. Now, I went to college in Boston, and I know what MIT is. So I went to the president of the company, and I said, listen, he forgot more than I know. I need to be working for him. We worked together, and then one day he said, I'm going to Malaysia to work on this big project. Do you want to go? And I said, yeah, I do. Wow. So from that coincidence of meeting him, I met people in Singapore, China, China. Thailand, Vietnam, right. and did all these projects and began introducing my innovative technology, uh, my organic-based technology as part of the thing. And that's what led to uh, the Nobel Prize. Because when COVID hit in the States, my product had already been used on that virus in Malaysia, in Singapore, in the Middle East. And so um, I brought it to the CDC. They didn't want to really talk to me because I was a little guy. Right. You know, but... Right. Um, but finally, how would they did, finally did talk with you? Oh, yeah, they did. They did when they started looking at some of the reports from project we did where hospitals were, the infections were totally gone from the hospitals. No secondary infections. Um, you know, somebody goes in for a pacemaker and they get an infection during the surgery and they end up in intensive care. Yes. That doesn't happen anymore. So I was back to doing my hospital consulting work, but using my technology and my product. So you were creating like a clean, uh, yeah, what it does is room. It, for yeah, the if you think about it, um, you know, if you go to a restaurant, and look around, people are eating different things, drinking different things, but they're breathing the, the same, same air, air right. and everything that's in it. If you kill what's in the air before people breathe it, they don't get, they don't get it. Very and so my technology and my organic-based product does exactly that. 
Fascinating. You've had a, a very interesting, it's, interesting it's, it's been exciting. Yes. I've, uh, I've got to see a lot of places and a lot of people. Have. Nice to meet you. Good to have you with us on North of the Broad. And again, the book is called From Jelly Beans to a Nobel Prize. Yeah, yeah I'm humble. Believe me, I am. Yes, Dr. Dr. Arthur Martin. And we'll be right back with more North of the Broad. Don't go away.